All right. Yeah, for a second, I was afraid uh, the one was going to kill us mine. Because my laptop shut off, but um, it was still uh, recording it. All right, so what do these guys say? For Zelda to be taken from us at a time like this, it is unthinkable. Jeffrey, listen to me. You must do whatever it takes to prevent the resurrection of demise in the past. Quickly now, open the gate of time and re return to the past. Oh, you gotta chase after that creep, Jeffrey. Zelda's counting on you. Shouldn't the present start getting screwed up right now, then? Yeah. Like, no, this should be like rips of the fabric of the universe, like, uh, uh Well, if nothing bad happens, then everything's fine. You still have to go back to the past to do whatever you need to do, but everything's fine. Yeah, uh, everything will have already happened in the past. Oh, she's on the ground. Ugh. Jeffrey? It's gear him. He appeared out of the thin air and got to drop on me. Don't worry about me, you must chase after him. He ran through the great doors into the front of the temple. You may yet catch him before it's too late. Hurry. He's the whole ending part that gets confusing people with the whole time stuff so, right here. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'll kinda explain it a bit when, when we get to well, isn't there two Zeldas now? Because there's a Zelda inside of yeah. the temple, and then there's Zelda here. Uh huh. That's paradox. Um. <laughs> the heck? Uh, for a second I thought he was dead. <laughs> He's doing his victory dance. <laughs> uh, for a second I thought he was dancing to his own song. <laughs> Whoa. Zelda, you're useless. Hear me, my hordes. The spell is nearly complete. The Demon King returns! Until then, you will keep that whelp from interfering with my ritual. I don't care if the whole lot of you get lodged at the end of this blade. You will buy me the time I need. Do not fear him. Fear my wrath if you fail me. Okay, so... I hate this battle so Let's much. Go. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, so what I experienced that uh, these got these mobs will keep respawning. So instead of trying to kill them all, just run, just keep running down until you uh reach to a point where you're forced to stop and kill something else. <laughs> That's what I tried doing in the boss rush one time. Because I'm pretty sure there is a limit once they uh stop like spawning. I think. Uh huh. Uh, for, I feel like this moment right here is what uh, got the got the idea. Hey, why don't we make uh, a game where you fight uh, this many enemies, uh, like in a really fun way? So high reward score. Probably. I also now every now even if you hit some some enemies uh, like where they're blocking, uh, they actually get stunned. Well, that's because of my sword. Yeah, it's not fully upgraded. Bomb guys. I hate these guys. Yeah, the bomb guys are the ones that can't piss me off. I dodged all of them. That's the best part of this, though. So. Okay, I think bigger enemies can spawn now. I think bigger enemies. Yep. Oh, okay. crap. Uh, should we run up for a bit and then just build moblins? Well, there's more moblins up there, though. Whee. Ah. Oh, what? That didn't hurt you? Up. Oh. Or swing. Swing bird. Ah. Maybe I should just try to do this. If I get them to all lose their uh, thing. Oh, dang. Ha. Huh. Dang ah. it. Darn it. Let's just do this. Oh, <laughs> nice. Good book. 
Ah, uh, what? He's or not. He's slapped this whole backhand thing. No, keep me here. These things knock me down a lot. Oh, the archer, that's what it is. That's, that's another one's part. Oh, there. Speak of the devil. Die! No, uh, I know the be uh, best option to get through all the dark ways. Uh, bring out your shield. Like when, when they're coming. And when they pop out. Oh, by the way, this area here is in boss rush mode. So, well, once you beat the game, uh, uh in your, in your yeah, you have to bring your shield out when those archers start to shoot at you. So you can actually block over there. Well, bombs, bombs, bombs! Oh, that was close. Should we buy more potions? More cards. Well, too bad we're already here. Besides, I know how to fight against Gearham now, too. That guy keeps running away. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's like a card now. Oh, dang. Aha! Okay, he might rush at you to get ready to block. Oh, or counter. Either way works. Yeah, dead. Is there like no piece of the grass or anything like your heart? I don't have my heart thing anymore. Remember? I like how they, <laughs> I like how they did that. Really well. No, not pick up that horn. Wait, can I pick up the horn? Nice. Or oh, wonder where that 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 like, little like noise uh that or should I drink my other potion or the uh, I probably should shouldn't I Yeah I should definitely now especially against these guys Oh crap I forgot that was these guys. Okay, let's move up a little bit. Ah. Bob Rush mode, you can't heal yourself, right? I don't think so. The only reward you get now is you uh, play every single. Uh, you defeat every single boss in Bob Rush mode. Is that you get like uh, nine thousand nine, huh. nine you get nine thousand nine hundred with the uh, count of this game. I think. I think right now the uh, I think it's the Legend of the Legend World. Uh, uh, the highest rupee amount they get is uh, nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine rupees. And, there, and there's no uh, wallet bag upgrades in that game either. Kind of ridiculous, right? Uh huh? He's dead. He's dead too. Run! This guy. I'm trying to rush you again back there. There's the one last wall. Uh, oh, the guy archers. Uh. Oh, jeez. That is the last wall. Oh wait, no, oh, don't mind that. Can't worry how that they uh, have that save point there. You can't save before you have this area, right? Oh, yeah. oh crap! Just swing left and right. Ah. <laughs> uh, Right here is really useful. Whoa, look at that lag. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, well, with a crowd like that, I feel like I feel like the, it would be a really great time if they gave you the spin attack on the liquor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, he's mad. You took my girl. 
You're far too quick, boy. <laughs> Speed runs. I realize a simple child like you knows nothing of magic, but spells like this take time and a steady hand. Can't you wait quietly like a good boy? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you petulant brat. You've pushed me too far. I've waited my whole existence for this. This is my moment! But you know what? Fine. If you're so intent on hurrying to your grave, I'll be happy to show you the way. You're hurting my girl! This time there will be no heroic escape. I was a fool to toy with you and let you walk away with your life before. But I won't make that mistake again. Super Saiyan! This is should be Super Saiyan. That! I promise! Oh gosh. Now this is good. Actually, swing your sword like. Oh, wait. If only I put you in your place from the very beginning. Show a human a little mercy, and next thing you know, he thinks himself your equal. Given my station, I had to maintain some semblance of dignity. So I let you roam with your life. Twice even. Such a guilty pleasure. But instead of scurrying away like a creature with a basic instinct to survive, you just kept coming back. Again. And again. And again. I've let a mere boy make a fool of me for the last time. You stand before a demon. Or should I say, a weapon without mercy. <laughs> what, you're a sword? For you, boy, I've prepared a most appropriate and humiliating death. I even have a pet name for it. I call it the Endless Plunge. That's not very scary. <laughs> First, I'll take my time bludgeoning you, and when I grow bored of it, I will drive you to the edge and deliver a last strike to send you falling to your doom. I'll delight in casting your body into this pit and snuffing out the flame of your life. Your broken body will serve as a fine sustenance for the Demon King. Well, he just gave us a clue on what we're supposed to be doing here. So what you want to do is, is that you want to be hitting Black him towards like the edge. It actually Look. doesn't really matter. You just do it like that. <laughs> coming. And after you want to do a fatal blow. Boom! <laughs> now, usually when it goes on the second and third um, platforms, I just wait for him to kick. That way I can easily do that. When he, oh, crap. Ah. If you hit him when he's barking like that, like the, the electrical areas, uh, it, it's kind of like fighting a Salphos. Yeah. Or him in any of his other forms. Still like this, though. Yeah! Boom! Get up. Come on. Oops. Oops. Crap. Or can he actually knock you down? Well, that's what he's trying to do, remember? This is basically just a giant game of sumo. Because, you know, Japan won't do that. Mm-hmm. Or do you have to be... I don't know. Do you have to be fat, or you have to just be strong? Well, fat makes it harder for the other opponent to move you over. Alright, now this is the second phase. He takes out one sword. And it's actually pretty hard. He always keeps it in the middle there. I like to just, uh... I like to just wait until he attacks, and then you need to stab him. Or I don't know why do I didn't stab, I don't know why I didn't block. I'm going to do it, uh, first stab. Are you kidding me? Okay, now here, he's going to do Skyward Strikes. You want to hit it in the same direction as him. Darn it! Oh, you're Skyward Strikes. Wait, what? And then you can come up right here can't. and stab him. Stab him, I said. I'm not even moving my nunchuck. Oh yeah, he still has these. You can't hit these back, though. 
Heal Bastion. Well, even if you do Heal Bastion, they don't go all the way back to them. Okay. Nice. Now, here's his third form. He takes out a giant sword. You just get some left and right or up and down like really quickly to break, uh, to break, uh, to break up the sword like this. That doesn't really help me. See? Like, that, I don't do that. Oh, well, it's uh, I, well, not like fast like when you just the sword. Just like, it's like fast enough. Like for the control to actually detect it. Like, I don't yeah, know why I keep stabbing. Yeah, but that's what I do, but you don't do this where you just hit that one area, like, like oh, no. that. Oh, no. Oh, that was a bad idea. Like, I don't know. I don't want to Come on. You just need to get this twice. Okay, I have a problem with with um going down. Like maybe it's just the way I'm sitting or something. But whenever I go, whenever I slice down, I do a slice afterwards, and I really don't understand. Anyway, so that's it. If you haven't noticed by now, he looks sort of like Fee, which sort of connects to the whole sword thing earlier. Like this, this is preposterous. Driven to my knees by a simple child of man. Laughable. No matter how many times we clash, I can't prevail. You think I can't defeat you? You think I can't win? Boy, what are you? I am the hero of legend. No, I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but never mind that. Victory is still mine to savor. While we fought, the ritual I started continued. At last, it's complete. The Demon King shall devour the soul of the Goddess and resurrect in his full glory. That evil laugh, though. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna devour her soul? Well, that sucks. Well. You know, he's not even in his third form. I can beat this guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Except he doesn't have the spike on his head. So maybe I can't. Yeah. You didn't, ha you didn't have the seal yet. Whoa. You know, put that in the reverse, kind of looks like the, uh, uh, that, like the Alma Far of my laser guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so he ate Zelda's soul? Yep. Don't you see? It's all over! You and your kind have lost! This world and everything in it now belongs to darkness! They belong to my master! Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> Feel me with the power of darkness! It's Akuma. <laughs> or can't look at that one. Yeah, she's part of the same thing. Oni? Yeah. yeah. That's Akuma. Welcome back to us, Master. Huh? Well, I guess evil bad guy cliche. Well, it's just killing your own servants. Yeah. It's almost as big as a cliche as, uh,. Uh, stuff like, you know, a man kiss, kissing him and thinking he's like, you know. mm -hmm. Well, like, this is the cliche where, like, a servant works really hard to bring back his master, and then he gets... Well, actually, he's laughing, so... I guess he's doing <laughs> it. <laughs> Dang. 
It's like the Master Sword, but cooler. <laughs> bigger, well, Claymore version. Yeah. You no, know, that's, that's what the Great Gloss was. Right, this is what I was talking about earlier. This guy is basically like Fee. He's the Mises Sword. Look at that upside down fragments. <laughs> so, you are the chosen knight of the goddess. Intrigue. The goddess lowered herself to a mortal existence to keep me imprisoned. How pathetic! This, this bag, bag of flesh, flesh pales in comparison to the magnificence of her previous form. <laughs> what? <laughs> Catch her, Link! Or, Gruss got her. <laughs> Don't worry, Jeffrey! Gruss has got this! Oh yeah! Like a boss! I don't know, that explosion may look like that they both fell from the same height. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, I... I caught her! She's okay! <laughs> hmm. So, so you, you and that, that other human would, would stand before obliteration to aid the goddess, goddess, would you? How curious. The humans I've known are weak things. Hardly more, more than insects. insects. Shivering under rocks and ready to flee at a mere glimpse of me. When last I walked this earth, or this world, they did little more than scream and cling to their gods, mewling and praying, counting on her to protect them. How amusing to think those cowards begot someone like you. <laughs> he looks so tall. He's like ten feet tall, man. No. You, you grow, grow more fascinating by the second, second. human. I, I never imagined I'd meet one of your kind who wished to stand, stand against me in battle. Very, Very well then, I shall prepare a place for us where we will not be bothered by distractions. If you still have the courage to face me, seek me there. Okay. Jeffrey, it's all on you! Oh, and listen up, Granny had some info for you. The old girl says it'll take time for that grease swad to absorb Zelda's soul completely. If he can take him down before her soul gets all sucked up into that... thing... you might still have a chance. I... I know you can do it. I believe in you, bro. So... yeah. You gotta do this. You're all Zelda's got. You got to make this happen. So that's how we can't we can't stop like that. Oh, I'm gonna leave the back of the guy over here. <laughs> but, <laughs> I guess this game stops out next. If you fear for your life, do not fall. You can spend the little time the world has left cowering and crying, as befits your kind. But if you truly desire to raise your blade against the world, I would build comfortably. I've, I've waited, waited eons, eons to return. I can, I can spare, spare a few moments to let you decide. I'm gonna translate that. It means that you can do whatever you want in this game with the full fight in front of boss. Yeah. You can get all those Gotta Cube and other gems they have to play again. It's up to you now, Jeffrey. Can you talk to Goose? Can I talk to Goose here? Like, you know, run, run back up and talk to him. Well. Like you said, you can do whatever, right? So I'm gonna go heal. Maybe find some berries. Berries? Yeah, fairies. Oh. Ah. Oh, sorry, I heard I heard berries. Berries? <laughs> Maybe he's not here. Actually, I don't even know how far up he is. So we're just gonna come back till we get some berries. Or actually, we've been here for a while. So 
why don't we just make the last bit the next episode? So next time, on Let's Play The Legends of the Skyward Sword, we're going to fight Demise. And that will probably be the last episode in the series. See you guys next time. See ya.